Uh, my medium is mixed medium, so I'm always working on acrylics, inks, watercolor. I'll mix oil sometimes with it. And the work I consider dark contemporary art, um, but it's not all it's not all scary. I'll take haunting images and, and add cute, sweet things to it as well. Uh, it's that child spirit, you know. It's a mix of dreams and nightmares. So there might be, uh, you, you know, as a dream you don't understand it at first, and then you might be able to analyze it later. And I think a lot of my work is like that for me. It, it kind of flows out of me without even thinking. It's just, uh, I could pull a character out every five seconds if I had to. And uh, I think that's, that's from the, when you're a little kid, the universe is wide open and you could just create, create, create. But we were trained to lose that for some reason and I, I never let that affect me or get to me. So it's a huge part of my work and that's why I'll still make toys, I'll make video games and those kind of fun things as a kid. And, uh, also, I think one of the things, I only went trick-or-treating as a child once, and I think that made an impact on me as well, since uh, I love the, the spooky weirdness that you get to celebrate one day a year, and I try to celebrate that in just about every day. A lot of the paintings are its own piece, its own world. Um, that's my favorite thing to create, is where I could create something brand new, uh, something that didn't exist before. I feel like that's, you know, uh, I get to explore that myself as if I'm viewing it for the first time. And um, so that's my favorite kind of creation and come up with words that make sense for it. Once in a while I'll grab a famous lyric and put it in to match it, but most of the time it's my own words. For a while I was creating cats and I didn't own any. And I used to have bad experiences with cats as a kid. And, um, but now I own four cats and I realize there's this one in particular cat I have that every time I would drive up to my apartment, it would, it would be running up to me and, and, as if it knew me. And I was kind of interesting at the time because I would have dreams of a black cat and I, I never liked black cats before. Uh, but this black cat now is my, it's my favorite cat. I, I, you know, I hold it every day and I, I have a strong connection and realize it's my spirit animal. I've been painting on currency for about maybe eight, ten years right now, and uh, I really enjoy it because it's kind of transforming value that already exists. And so I set these value at three hundred thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents uh, to represent infinity. You know that numbers could just keep going on. It really doesn't matter the value. You know, I, I paint on a hundred-dollar bill the way I paint on a one-dollar bill, the same way I take a piece of garbage. It, to me, it's all just materials and you could transform it into art and you could sell it for what somebody believes it's worth. Yeah, I enjoy painting little. I mean, when I started as a kid, I would paint really, really tiny creatures and I never thought I could go larger. Uh, so I'm used to doing both now. I, I love painting bigger, preferably, but it's a, it's a fun challenge to take, you know, you have these old dead presidents and, and iconic people like Benjamin Franklin and transform them and update them. It's almost like a, a new beautiful currency from an alien planet. So this, this is about you know, really coping with, uh, with your childhood and having to grow up. So it's kind of like this old looking kid who's playing with his toys. He's, he's a giant and he's just taking homes and you know, kind of processing it all in his head. But he's really just coping with with growing up, you know, which I guess in a sense, uh, I feel like we all, we all have to do that. A lot of people wake up as an adult and they're like, I don't want to pay bills, what am I doing? I didn't want this job, maybe I didn't want to be married to this person. And uh, it's, it's about, you know, learning to be true to yourself of, of who you are inside and not, not becoming someone else for other people. This is the antique horror collection. I've been doing this for about 17 years now. And uh, it all started, I would work on sugar packets, the straw wrappers, and once I got hold of this, I really loved that you could take these forgotten people, you know, the people that are found. Like I found these in you know, either a flea market or in the garbage, and uh, transform it and update it to modern day and, and give it a, a twist. I mean, there are, a lot of these are already kind of chilling and you know that these people have all passed away long ago, so 
I, I like to update them and bring in uh, a new sense of life. The secret to creativity is to remember to eat a good bowl of cereal every day. If you mix Cocoa Puffs and Lucky Charms, you get this beautiful aroma and colorful display, and it motivates you to stay young at heart and uh, create something beautiful from the skies above.